What's going on? Mitchell Rents, Tom Downey here. You're watching NFL Daily. Will the Jacksonville Jaguars trade Nick Foles? I want you guys to type trade or type no. So will the Jags trade Nick Foles? Type trade or I want you guys to type no. The reason why we're talking about this, Tom, is because Gardner Minshew has been the name. It's the back. Starting quarterback, Minshew Mania, baby. It's back. So I'm seeing Barrett says trade. Ryan Quintero says yes. Josh Carter says trade. Seeing a lot, a lot of trades in there. So if Gardner Minshew is back as the starting quarterback, I mean, that's kind of has to mean Nick Foles is going to be on the way out. So also the Popo <laughs> says Uncle Rico. I love the reference, man. I absolutely I mean, love the reference. Looks like him. But Gardner Minshew's been a lot better this year, Tom. I mean, you have to, you have to, there's no doubt about that. I mean, five interceptions, 14 touchdowns. He at least has won a game. I mean, if you're going to sit there and look at Nick Foles, be like, all right, paid you a whole bunch of money. You haven't won a single game. And not only have you not won a single game, you haven't even looked kind of like a competent starting quarterback. So one of the biggest rumors going around right now is could now the Jags, after getting Nick Foles in the offseason, potentially trade him? I mean, the issue is they're going to eat $18.5 million in dead cap money. And you got to pay them. If a team does trade for him, they don't have to pay the, I guess, a his huge contract. They only have yeah. to get him for 15.6. The, the, the signing bonus stays with Jacksonville. That's why they can't cut him and because of the way his contract is structured. If they were to cut him on top of his already $22 plus million dollar cap hit, they would have to pay like an extra eight or something million. It would cost them more to cut Nick Foles than to keep him on the roster. That's why it doesn't make sense to, to, to move him except in a trade. A trade is the only route this makes sense. Correct. So, and yes, I am that I am, says 18.5 million. Yes, that, that is the, the number. The question here is, though, Tom, here are Nick Foles' last four years, okay? Now, these don't count playoff stats. That's ultimately why Nick Foles got paid what he got paid. But if this is what you're going to get, and you got to pay a quarterback, now, sure, it's the 15.6, but you're, you're going to be eating a lot of money. I mean, would you really want your favorite team to go out and sign Nick Foles? I'm not quite sure. So... The thing that we're going to do on today's show is around Nick Foles and where will he play in 2020. If you were a betting man, where would you bet on Nick Foles playing in 2020? Can I throw out my idea here? I mean, that's, I think that's do. what this show's all about. So, No, the host can't have a, any ideas. Thank you. A, there shouldn't be much of a market for Nick Foles. So I agree with Josh Carter. I think it should be the Chicago Bears. Here's what I would do if I were Chicago. You know that NFL teams don't want Nick Foles. There's a lot of free agent quarterbacks. Okay. They don't want to take on Nick Foles. I would trade for Nick Foles, and I wouldn't budge about giving up anything for him. I think this could be a scenario where Jacksonville's so tight on money, and do we know, is Minshew really the answer? I'm not convinced that he is. They have a very limited cap space. Even if they get rid of guys like Marcel Doris, they are tight on money. So what the Bears should do is see if you can't get a lesser version of the Brock Osweiler trade. Or maybe the Akeem Fleet trade is a better okay. example. What if you get a mid to late round pick for Nick Foles? You've got a quarterback option in there. You can still draft somebody, and you're not burning your already limited draft capital to get a quarterback in. Wow. I think it's a great idea. I was just going to say, that's actually a really great idea. So where will Nick Foles play in 2020? We'll get some shout outs here. Barrett B says uh, Los Angeles. The Popo says the Bears. Ryan Cantero says Philly. What are the chances that Nick Foles goes back to Philly? I think pretty much zero. Okay. okay. He's going to want to start somewhere. They're, they're not going to trade for him. So there you go. So Dolphins, Philly, the Bengals. Where will Nick Foles play in 2020? And to get your guys' questions here live on our show, we want you to use hashtag NFL. Get them featured on the show. If you want to ask questions about Nick Foles, about other quarterbacks, use hashtag NFL to get your questions here on the show. So this one's coming in from Jeff Rogers. Would you rather have Mahomes or Lamar Jackson? I'm still going to take Mahomes, but I, I am a big fan of Lamar Jackson. Okay, before I give my answer, type M for Mahomes or type okay. J for Jackson. Which quarterback would you all rather have? Type M for Mahomes or type J for Jackson. So, yeah, you guys M. can see it in the comments there. M or J, very, very easy. We'll give some shout-outs here. I would have rather have Mahomes. I agree. I think in today's NFL, I think he has a longer career than a player like Lamar Jackson. But White Creek Radio Lamar does do go a Jackson. good job of, of avoiding big hits, though. Yes. The problem is his game is still kind of a little bit dependent on being able to run. A bad injury could would it 
more adversely in impact Jackson than it would Mahomes? Well, that's a good question, though, Jeff. It's a good question. Let's go to Trek Reviewer, get a picture. How about Hunt to the Bills? I, I think, think Devin Singletary's done a pretty solid job. I think you should use Singletary in a rotation. I, I, think, okay. I think you can keep Singletary. But Frank Gore's never going to die. Well, yeah, but he might not be in Buffalo next year. So <laughs> I, I think you bring in somebody like a Kareem Hunt. Maybe you draft another guy in round three, round four, and just use that rotation going. I, I, that's an effect. I mean, you could also the Bills also tried to do that earlier in the year. They tried to build up a lot of running backs like McCoy, but I think McCoy just wasn't. A I mean, I, I still think that I've told you this before. My my the dream way to go about running back is just take somebody in round three or four, probably round four, every single year, and just rotate them all. It sucks for fantasy, but it's effective. In the Let's go to J. I don't know why the last name gives me problems. Manino, Manino, Manino. Trade Foles to the Panthers for Cam. Yeah, but why would the Panthers do that? Because <laughs> it's Nick Foles. I mean, the only reason you – it doesn't make any Who's sense. Who's better quarterback, Cam or Nick Foles? It's Cam if healthy. But if, if Cam's not healthy, why would you take on Foles' contract? Yeah. So, I, I, I know. I, I think I think Carolina says no very, very quickly. So, I saw somebody just say, Mitch, the Raiders released Trevor Davis. Well, if you got a Trevor Davis jersey, luckily I can get you a Josh Jacobs jersey. Go to chatsports.com slash NFL jersey. Take advantage of this deal. So if you don't want a Josh Jacobs jersey, let's say you want a Bosa jersey. Or if you don't want a Bosa jersey, guess what? I can even hook you up with a Tom Brady jersey, a whole bunch of jerseys, not just the ones featured on screen there. But to get this limited time deal, Tom, you got to go to chatsports.com slash NFL jersey. The link is in the chat. All you got to do is click on that, and then bang, a whole bunch of jerseys. Great holiday options there. And uh, Harrison already got one. Harrison looks good in his jersey. Let's go to 6 of 1. What up, girl? Should running backs have their own bargaining unit within the NFLPA? It is a fascinating idea just, just from a, a concept perspective because running backs are treated very, very, different. very differently because their they're self they're, they're are so short within the NFL. In the end, I think no because then you're just going to end up having different segments for each position. Quarterbacks are going to treat differently, and I, I don't think that's the route the NFLPA wants to go of having a different grouping for other people. They should remain a priority for the NFLPA, but I, I, don't, I don't think a separate bargaining unit is going to be the route you need to go. Let's go to the Jacob. way NFL's set up. What up, Jake? Could we see a 7-9 and nine playoff team, a.k.a. Dallas or Philly? So we kind of talked about this a little bit before coming on the show. The uh, trash can race for the NFC East, or NFC I mean, East, the I NFC East say. is probably the worst division I've ever seen <laughs> right <laughs> we've now. Seen, we've seen a 7-9 and nine division winner, Seattle, like a couple of years ago. That was, I think that, that division was, the was better. It wasn't, though. I think it was. It wasn't. The Redskins are garbage. They were Sorry, terrible. The Giants are terrible. The Eagles just lost to the Dolphins. They're five and seven, and then you got the Cowboys at six and six, who haven't beaten anyone. It's the N. I hate that argument. <laughs> it is the NFL. There is no such thing as oh, we haven't beaten anybody yet. You do it every year. <sighs> Harrison from the background chimes in the head. Who's gonna win the NFC East, Dallas or the Eagles? Or maybe the NFL should make a new rule that just says nobody from the NFC East should be able to make it in because it's been a horrible oh, division. Just, just welcome to life. Let's go to Jason Douglas. Get a picture. Is Jacoby Brissett in Indy next season? If not, who can they get to be a legit contender? All of a sudden, the, 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 the Colts fans, who the people who didn't like me mentioning, hey, maybe Jacoby Brissett isn't your answer, are now coming out like, hey, maybe we should take a quarterback. Crazy, right? God, who could have seen that one coming? Uh, to answer your question, though, I think Brissett is still in Indy, if only as a stopgap bridge quarterback. The way his contract is set up, I mean, they can get out of it, I think, fairly easily. Uh, there, There is some. The roster bonus thing is guaranteed, so s some of the cap hit is still there. It's going to count like $21.5 against the cap, which, as we mentioned before, that's not very expensive. So I think Brissett is there, but I do think they explore quarterback options in this year's NFL draft. Let's go to Ray Thompson. Would you rather have Dak Prescott... Carson Wentz <laughs> or Jared Goff. I think this one is rather easy. Yeah, it is. Wentz. No. I'm kidding. <laughs> Not right now. No, I agree, man. That uh, argument's flipped. I think right now. All right, so who would you rather guy? Who would you guys have? Okay. Dak, Wentz, Goff. Throw it in the comments section. Okay. Who would you rather have? So throw it in there. Dak, Wentz, or Goff. I mean, I'm going with Dak. 
I, I, I agree. I think this this argument is really between Dak and Wentz, frankly. I mean, look at what the Rams have done with, with, with Ryan with Kintero, golf. who is an Eagles fan, says, wow, Wentz. Goff has been a mess for the Rams. Yes. I mean, Sean McVay does not trust him to throw the football sometimes. Now, he bounced back this past weekend, which was big for him, but he had gone like three or four games with no touchdown Somebody passes. said Eli. <laughs> he, Eli sucks. Ryan, you and I agree there. The argument <laughs> becomes Dak and Wentz, and – We've now seen both of these quarterbacks be hamstrung by iffy offensive line play and bad receivers. Cowboys fans will tell you, well, that doesn't count for Wentz. Eagles fans will tell you that that doesn't account for Dak. It counts for both in the end. And in reality, I think we've seen them both at their highest, and we've seen one quarterback take over the fourth quarter one. Contrary to what Dan Orlovsky thinks, that's clearly been the Dak Prescott. I would say right both, now. I believe in both of those guys, but I'm taking Dak. Right. There have been, I'm going to say, Tom, in total, 70% Dax. There's been more Eli votes than for Jared Goff. So if that tells you anything. Jared Goff <laughs> is not the answer. It's also definitely not Eli Manning. It's definitely not Eli Manning. So I guess it's between Dak or Wentz. Continue to get those in the comments section below. So here on YouTube, Chat Sports, we are the number one channel for all NFL news, rumors. We do live watch parties, Q&As like you're watching, and so much more here. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do YouTube.com slash Chat Sports TV. What makes our show different, Tom, is the live interaction we get with people like the Popos, David Lee, Jay, um, Bro Cave. We appreciate everyone who's watching us right now live. So if you're not watching us live, click that notification button so you know what we do. Click subscribe, youtube.com slash chatsportstv. Let's go to Cole. Let's go to Cole. Uh, do you think the Chiefs you nerd. should use Darwin Thompson in the offense more? I am a Darwin Thompson troop. You are. I like Darwin Thompson. He's a fun player. However, if I'm the Chiefs, I might never even run the football. I might just go mad and then throw it 60 hey, times a game. <laughs> Averaging eight yards a throw. That's, What's the downside? <laughs> that's what I mean. Turnovers, I mean, of course, but still. I mean, you got – he is a very good pass catcher. I mean, I still think Andy, why for some reason, him. trusts LaShawn McCoy. Because he knows McCoy. That's a first-year player. It. I get it. But LaShawn McCoy, I watched that Raiders game yesterday. He was not good. Darwin actually got some run at the end of the game. Looked a little bit better. Oh, so the Raiders are kind of checked out by that point. You know, hey. When in Rome. Uh, let's go to King Bomber. <laughs> Are the Seahawks a Super Bowl team? I, I, think, yes. th I think they're a contender. Um, I kind of have some How questions. are they not a Super Bowl team? I think they're a contender. That's, so I'm agreeing with you. They beat the 49 I don't think they're going to win the NFC, but I, I think they're going to be one of the obvious contenders. Now, they might not even win the NFC West this year. That's so competitive between the Rams, or the, Rams, the Niners and the Seahawks. But I think they're definitely going to be a threat this year. Yeah. There are some in-game situational stuff and conservativity from their coaching staff. Don't really are like, the Seahawks a contender or a pretender type C for contender type P for pretender? I have no idea how to pronounce this name. I'm too bad for you, Mitch. It's not even that hard. Oh, my Lord. Once you read it. That's embarrassing. It's not even that All hard. Right. Should the Eagles look for another quarterback? I don't really see the benefit in doing that. You've paid Carson Wentz. He's your guy. You've seen more than enough flashes to justify it. I know some want to just rip on, on Wentz, mostly other Cowboys fans as much as possible, but I think you roll with Wentz and you try and get him a receiver receiver core that catches passes. Like, Wentz is your guy. You can look for a backup, but there's no reason to go out and try and find a, find a new starter. Our big uh, our big Eagle supporter, Ryan, says, Ryan and I are on the same no, page. don't do it. I agree, Ryan. So the Eagles right now, they're 5-7. and seven. The Cowboys are at 6-6. Six and six. Tom, who's going to win the NFC East? Throw it in the comments section, and if you think it's going to be the Trick Cowboys. Question, nobody wins. Someone just loses <laughs> yeah. more. You guys can go at BetDSI. You can bet on division winners. You can bet on every single game if you want to. You can bet on college football, NBA, so much more. At BetDSI, let us know in the comments section who you think is going to win the NFC East. The Dallas Cowboys, the Philadelphia Eagles. Which money where your mouth is, though. Go to that chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code NFL120. Jacob, with a paragraph here. Is it weird that Jackson and Allen, the two quarterbacks that had the lowest bus potential, are the best of the class so far? I'll admit it. I was worried about Allen and high on Lamar. Yes and no. I, I am still taking Baker over Josh Allen. Yep. Um, but also think about it this way. When you are a mobile quarterback, someone who can run as well as Lamar and Josh Allen can do, that actually makes, I think, your baseline a little bit higher. For like, you're not going to have disastrous games because you'll still be able to pick up yards on the ground at minimum. So 
I am a little bit surprised it hasn't been Baker, maybe hasn't been Darnold, although I had the same grade on Lamar Jackson as I had Sam Darnold. Now, Rosen being the bus was the biggest surprise to me, but I, I think when you look at it through the proper lens, which is always kind of um, cheating, I guess, it makes some sense, but it is a little bit surprising, especially after what we saw from Baker in year one, the regression we've seen this year, that's been, been a surprise. Baker's been a big disappointment. Let's go to Peter. What's more likely to happen, A-B signing or a Cowboy Super Bowl? Um, wow. If, if you are asking which happens this year, it is the Cowboys. Because the Cowboys are still alive. Antonio Brown's not getting signed this year. Now, if you're asking what happens overall, a Cowboys Super Bowl or Antonio Brown signing, I think Brown gets signed next year. The Cowboys are not winning the Super Bowl this year. Therefore, A-B will, will happen first. But right oh. now, it's the Cowboys win, making it to the Super Bowl. I, saying, I think right now it's the Cowboys Super Bowl for this year, and I hope it's actually the Cowboys because I don't want to see A.B. ever back again. I'll be honest. I don't want to see A.B. back on the field ever Someone's again. I am so it. sick of A.B. As always, if you're watching NFL Daily by Chat Sports, type F.A.B. in the comment section below.